Clockwise from top left, center is a standard carabiner rating. Using a carabiner to connect to a rope A carabiner or carabiner is a specialized type of shackle, a metal loop with a spring-loaded gate used to quickly and reversibly connect components, most notably in safety-critical systems. The word is a shortened form of Karbner Haken, a German phrase for a spring hook used by a carbine rifleman, or carabiner, to attach his carabine to a belt or bandolier. Carabiners are widely used in rope-intensive activities such as climbing, fall arrest systems, arboriculture, caving, sailing, hot air ballooning, rope rescue, construction, industrial rope work, window cleaning, whitewater rescue, and acrobatics. They are predominantly made from both steel and aluminium. Those used in sports tend to be of a lighter weight than those used in commercial applications and rope rescue. Often referred to as carabiner style or as mini biners, carabiner keerings and other light use clips of similar style and design have also become popular. Most are stamped with a knot for climbing or similar warning due to a common lack of load testing and safety standards in manufacturing. While any metal attaching link with a spring gate is technically a carabiner, the strict usage among the climbing community specifically refers only to those devices manufactured and tested for load bearing in safety critical systems like rock and mountain climbing. Typically rated to 20 kilonewtons or more. Carabiners on hot air balloons are used to connect the envelope to the basket and are rated at 2. 5 ton, 3 ton or 4 ton. Load bearing screw gate carabiners are used to connect the diver's umbilical to the surface supplied diver's harness. They are usually rated for a safe working load of 5 kilonewtons or more. Carabiners come in four characteristic shapes, oval, symmetric, most basic and utilitarian. Smooth regular curves are gentle on equipment and allow easy repositioning of loads. Their greatest disadvantage is that a load is shared equally on both the strong solid spine and the weaker gated axis. D. Asymmetric shape transfers the majority of the load onto the spine, the carabiner's strongest axis. Offset D. Variant of a D with a greater asymmetry, allowing for a wider gate opening. Pair slash HMS, wider and rounder shape at the top than offset Ds, and typically larger. Used for belaying with a munder hitch, and with some types of belay device. The largest HMS carabiners can also be used for repelling with a munder hitch. These are usually the heaviest carabiners. Carabiners fall into three broad locking categories, non-locking, manual locking, and auto-locking. Non-locking non-locking carabiners have a sprung swinging gate that accepts a rope, webbing sling, or other hardware. Rock climbers frequently connect two non-locking carabiners with a short length of webbing to create a quick draw. Two gate types are common, solid gate, the more traditional carabiner design, incorporating a solid metal gate with separate pin and spring mechanisms. Most modern carabiners feature a key lock nose shape and gate opening, which is less prone to snagging than traditional notch and pin design. Most locking carabiners are based on the solid gate design. Wired gate, a single piece of bent spring steel wire forms the gate. Wired gate carabiners are significantly lighter than solid gates, with roughly the same strength. Wired gates are less prone to icing up than solid gates, an advantage in alpine mountaineering and ice climbing. The reduced gate mass makes their wire bales less prone to gate flutter, a dangerous condition created when the carabiner suddenly impacts rock or other hard surfaces during a fall and the gate opens momentarily due to momentum. Simple wire gate designs feature a notch that can snag objects, but newer designs feature a shroud or guide wires around the hooked part of the carabiner nose to prevent snagging. Both solid and wire gate carabiners can be either straight gate or bent gate. Bent gate carabiners are easier to clip a rope into using only one hand, and so are often used for the rope and carabiner of quick draws and alpine draws used for lead climbing. Locking locking carabiners have the same general shape as non-locking carabiners, but have an additional mechanism securing the gate to prevent unintentional opening during use. These mechanisms may be either threaded sleeves, spring-loaded sleeves, magnetic levers, other spring-loaded unlocking levers or opposing double spring-loaded gates. Manual auto-locking carabiner with multiple combined auto-lock and quick release, useful in via ferrata and arborist work, were two. Lanyards and carabiners are used American National Standards Institute slash American Society of Safety Engineers Standard ANSI Z359. 1 to 2007 Safety Requirement for Personal Fall Arrest Systems, Subsystems, and Components, Section 3. 2. 1. 4 is a voluntary consensus standard. 
This standard requires that all connectors slash carabiners support a minimum braking strength of 5000 lbf and feature an auto locking gate mechanism which supports a minimum braking strength of 3600 lbf. Thanks for watching.